Hey, what's going on everybody? Kevin Walsh from Ninja Holistic Health and Fitness. This week's video series is going to be on pain management. So there are a lot of issues that people chronically or commonly get that are chronic um, relating to the low back, to the hips, different areas of the body. The one that I wanna share with you today is on the sciatic nerve, which obviously is commonly called sciatica. Uh, my friend Dawn asked for this video, so this is a quick shout out to her. Um, sciatic, uh, sciatica basically comes when the sciatic nerve is compressed which runs really all the way from the skull, from the brain down to the foot and goes through the spine and into the back of the leg. Um, it's very common to get pain going down the leg when you have this issue. So two things that you can do to solve this if you have sciatica are, number one, you sit in a chair, uh, preferably in a chair where you're actually a little bit higher than this one. You want your hip to be a little bit elevated if possible relative to the knee. And then what you do in a seated position is you keep your back straight and you're simply going to extend your one leg, the side that you're having the pain on, so say that's my right leg, extending the leg forward and then pointing the toes up in this position and then gently bringing it right back down again. So you bring, you straighten the knee, bring the toes upward and then bring it back down. And a little offshoot of the exact same uh, little exercise is with the foot, you can start with it pointed forward and then pull the toes up like this and then just do a few repetitions like I'm doing right now. Now you'll feel a little bit of a stretch in the calf and in the hamstring as well, that's fine, but for those of you who have sciatica, you know that it's a, it's a distinct pain. It's not a muscle stretch uh, type of sensation. It's something else and it's very, very dis uh, discomforting. So if you can feel that kind of um, pull going through where the, you feel the nerve is kind of active and a part of this and getting sort of you know stretched or flossed um, then you're on the right track now if you are comfortable with that the next sort of stage if you can handle this would be to sort of bend down so you just look down round just a little bit with the spine when you're in that position and then come back up and this is called flossing so you bring the leg up point the toes up just gently look down a little bit like this and then come back to the starting position. So that right there is one thing that you can do. Now a second one is called the press up, the McKenzie press up. And what you do is you go face down like this. And in this position, first you just wanna make sure that you can actually lay face down. A lot of people are uncomfortable just being here. So if it takes you a minute, just lay, just like you're taking a nap, hang out down here. And then once you're ready and you're comfortable enough, what you can do from here is put the hands right under the shoulders and then once you're comfortable in this position, with the legs completely relaxed, you press up like this, just to the point where you can handle comfortably. So you're arched, you're extended in this position, and then you gently come right back down to where you started from. And again, very relaxed, pushing up like so, and then coming straight back down to the starting position like that. So for herniated discs, people with issues like that, that's a very good exercise. That's called the McKenzie press up. So those are two that you can use right there that are very helpful if you have sciatica. And uh, I'll come out with some more videos later in the week for issues with back pain, which um, is kind of a broad subject. A lot of people think back pain is just sort of one thing, but there are many things that can lead to back pain or causes of it. So I'll show you a few of those this week to give you some differentiation so you know what to do on your own and you can make some of these problems that oftentimes plague people for years or even decades, you can take care of it pretty much immediately. So that is how you take care of sciatica with two little exercises right there. If you have any questions, email me kwninjatrainer at gmail.com and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.